It is week 11 in the National Football League. Your Kansas City Chiefs face arguably their toughest test yet as they square off against the Buffalo Bills. Two of the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen, the modern day Tom Brady and Peyton Manning doing it out once again. When these two go head-to-head, it's always must-see TV, and it feels like we get an instant classic almost every single time these two teams take the football field. The Bills' slight favorites just by one. The over-under set at 45-and-a-half. Chiefs an underdog. We've been here before. You know how the story ends. Patrick Mahomes, all-time, is 12-1-1 and against the spread as an underdog. So here we are, folks. Chiefs are undefeated, and they're still doubting us. They still don't believe. They still don't think the Chiefs are going to win. Time to prove them wrong again. We'll go over my keys to victory coming up in just a bit, break down the injury report prediction at the end of today's show as well. If you're ready for Chiefs game day, get the chat rolling. Spam those C's in the chat. I want to see at least 300 C's in the comments section. If we get 300 C's, that guarantees victory. It's worked for us every time we've done this this year. Why would it not work now? Get the C's rolling. We'll get started with today's show. At the time of this recording on Tuesday afternoon, here is what the Chiefs injury report looks like. Isaiah Pacheco with the lower leg injury. Questionable coming back from injured reserve. Juju Smith-Schuster with the hamstring injury, also questionable. Wanya Morris with the knee that uh, got banged up last week against Denver, questionable. And Charles Menehue coming back for the first time this season We'll see if he plays or not with the knee injury. He is questionable as well. Overall, all things considered, not looking too shabby for the Chiefs on the injury front. Meanwhile, for the Bills, their newest weapon, Amari Cooper, dealing with a wrist injury. He is questionable. Reggie Gillum, their fullback with a hip injury. He is also questionable. Keon Coleman with a wrist injury as well. What is going on with the wrist? Everybody slitting their wrists in Buffalo or something here? My goodness. He is uh, out. And then uh, Dalton Kincaid, the tight end with a knee injury, he is questionable. So who on earth is Josh Allen going to throw the football to? That is a major question with some of his top targets potentially out this week. What's it going to take to beat the Buffalo Bills? Well, let's talk about their quarterback, Josh Allen, with him not having a whole lot of guys to throw to. This is a very important opportunity for the Kansas City Chiefs to force Josh Allen into making mistakes. We all know Josh Allen can turn the football over a lot, and he did a really good job of taking care of the football in the first seven games of 2024 as he had no interceptions, and everybody was like, wow, did Josh Allen finally figure it out? Did he cut back on the turnovers? And then the last three games, the real Josh Allen showed up. Four interceptions in the last three games. So Josh Allen starting to get back to his old self again, which is good timing for Kansas City as far as that goes. Josh Allen's played like an MVP this year, though. 17 touchdowns, four interceptions, close to 2,300 yards, completion percentage of 64%, quarterback rating of over 100. He's looked really good, but that doesn't mean he won't turn the football over. Chiefs need to get an extra possession or two off of Josh Allen That could potentially be the difference in this American tackle football game. Who do you have? You going with the Chiefs or are you going with the Bills? Type KC for Chiefs. Type BUF, buff for the Buffalo Bills. Not buff like Big Techs, though. Get your predictions in now. I'll give you my prediction coming up at the end of today's show. Folks, if you haven't already, you got to subscribe to the Kansas City Chiefs Report. We're closing in on 62,000 subscribers as we're bringing you daily news and rumors. We have our live shows every Tuesday. We have our watch parties on game days as well. This is your one-stop shop for all things Kansas City Chiefs. You need to subscribe. Whatever you do, subscribe to the channel. Sub for dubs. You want the Chiefs to win? Sub it up. Sub for dubs. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV for daily Chiefs coverage. Number two. Going for dose here. Let Patrick Mahomes cook. Mahomes, 
We'll be honest, it was kind of a slow start to 2024, but now he's starting to get into his bag a little bit. Now the real Patrick Mahomes is starting to show up. And I say that you just let him go. You let him do his thing. He's got his receivers now. Run game has been pretty solid this year, even without Pacheco and all that. I I think that I don't even like saying this, but taking the training wheels off or, you know, kind of holding back the offense, whatever, as uh, Steve Sarkeesian would say, all gas, no brakes. Let Mahomes just go out and do his thing. First seven games of this season, he had nine interceptions. He was turning the ball over a lot. But I don't even necessarily blame Mahomes for that because look what he had to work with. He was trying to have, he was trying to make plays and found himself trying to do a little bit too much. Now I, th- I think we sit here and say to ourselves, yeah, Mahomes has got his guys now. We don't have to worry about him doing too much. He's going to go out there and do his thing. No interceptions the last two games. We showed you the numbers from Josh Allen earlier. Isn't it interesting that in the last couple of weeks, these two quarterbacks are starting to go two completely different directions? And we got the right one on our side, going the right direction right now. Mahomes' the season so far, it's not MVP caliber like Josh Allen's is, but he's still having a good year. A nice 69% completion percentage. Getting a little sexual on everybody there, Patrick. Shout out, Brittany. Uh, with uh, over 2,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, nine picks, quarterback rating of 90.3. And the thing about Patrick that I love, well, there's a lot of things I love about Patrick. But one of the things I love about Patrick is that he steps up in these big games, in the, these big moments. I see big text nodding his head in agreement. He knows what I'm talking about here. It seems like every time that when Mahomes has a big game in front of him, it's like the bright lights come on. And he's like, all right, I'm going to take things up another notch. I expect him to do the same coming up on Sunday. Let's go back to Buffalo's end of things. We mentioned how shorthanded the Billies are with their receivers, potentially without Cooper, Colvin, and then the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. Their leading receiver this season has been Khalil Shakir. And if I'm the Kansas City Chiefs, if I'm game planning for this matchup, if I'm Spags, I'm doing whatever I can to minimize Shakir's impact. He's had four straight games with at least six catches and 50-plus receiving yards. He is a problem. I am focusing the entire time on doing what I can to slow him down and take him away as an option from Josh Allen. I feel like if you can take away Shakir, you win the football game. Because who else is going to take care of – who's going to catch the football if you take Shakir out of the equation here? I think that's what this game comes down to. Shakir's been solid. He might be a Pro Bowl receiver this year when it's all said and done. Over 500 yards, 48 catches. Hasn't gotten the end zone a whole lot, just two touchdowns, but he has been the go-to guy for Josh Allen. I'm doing whatever it takes to take him away as much as possible. Who will be the Chiefs MVP against the Bills? Get your predictions in now. Name me a player that you think is going to stand out to get the job done for Kansas City. Let's tell you about today's sponsor. That is Prize Picks. Ever heard of them? Well, that's where I come in. Prize Picks is the place to go for the uh, things that you're looking for in daily fantasy, folks. You choose two or more players on any given category. Get the choice of more or less, whether you're talking fantasy points, football, Rebounds in basketball, goals in hockey, all sorts of different categories to choose from. Go to pricepicks.com slash sale at S, promo code sale at S. And when you spend $5, they will give you $50 to spend for free. You don't even have to win to get the money. Simple as that. Pricepicks.com slash sale at S, promo code sale at S. Link is in the comments and description of today's video. Looking at Sunday, I'm going with Mahalme to have more than 240.5 passing yards. Going with Josh Allen to have less than 32 and a half rushing yards. Going to keep him in the pocket as much as we can. And if I put $20 down, that turns into 60. Play along with me. Pricepicks.com. So seal it us. Promo code seal it us. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Pricepix, proud partner of the Chiefs. Let's feed DeAndre Hopkins. All right. So when he first arrived, Andy said that, hey, he's getting in early. He's staying in late to do whatever it takes to earn this Chiefs offense. And the results 
came in pretty quickly for DeAndre Hopkins. Pretty successful. In the last two games, he has a, had a total of 12 catches for 142 yards and two touchdowns. I would say that's pretty dang good, right? I want to see more. We want more of DeAndre Hopkins. And you look at his numbers for the season. Folks, I'll be honest, he didn't do a ton earlier this year when he was in Tennessee having to deal with uh, Mayo man Will Levis. Now you get him a real quarterback, playing a real offense, and DeAndre Hopkins is starting to look like his former self. More D-Hop. Keep feeding him. Keep it going. You got a good thing going. Why slow down? More DeAndre Hopkins. Last on our list of keys to victory for Kansas City. I want to see the best version of Trent McDuffie. I'll say this. I didn't like what I saw from Trent McDuffie last week against Denver. As good as the Chiefs defense played, that was a bad game for Trent McDuffie. One of the worst of his entire career, in all honesty, which was pretty shocking. And you think about this, McDuffie's made a big point how he wants to create more turnovers. He's still looking for his first career interception and all that. I was going back and looking at the numbers, and this one was kind of earth-shattering to me. What's the meme where the, the head explodes? Trey McDuffie has not had a single turnover since the 2023 AFC Championship game against the Ravens when he had one fumble recovery. Now would be a great time to get that first career interception or to get a forced fumble or fumble recovery. Something, anything, please. Trey McDuffie, now's the time to turn things around, get that first turnover. I'd love to see it. Outside of last week, McDuffie's had a pretty decent season. 34 total tackles, five pass breakups, three TFLs. But let's get back to the Trent McDuffie we all know and love. Let's see that come into fruition. Is that the word? Fruition this week against the uh, Buffalo Bills. Do you believe in Trent McDuffie? I believe. Type B for believe. Type D for don't. Let us know in the comments section. To recap, our keys to victory for Kansas City. Got to force Josh Allen into making mistakes. Let Patrick Mahomes cook. Minimize Shakir's impact. Feed D-Hop. And let's get the best version of Trip McDuffie. If the Chiefs do all those things, I see victory in the Kansas City Chiefs' very near future. 24-20. They win as an underdog and get the job done. Let me know your predictions in the comments section. If you're ready for a Chiefs win, Spam W. Let's get the W's going, and we'll see you next time right here on the Kids Day Chiefs Report.